Hello everyone, it is me, Super Mando Bros, here doing a video I wouldn't usually make. I usually make reviews and stuff, but this is something interesting that I wanted to do. So recently, Tamashii Nations revealed the brand new Godzilla vs. Kong SH Monsters figures. Now, a few days before, they did reveal the trailer for Godzilla vs. Kong, which by the way is a fantastic trailer. I did a reaction to it on the channel, and a slight breakdown of the trailer of things I noticed when I watched it the first time. So you can check that out if you want. Links will be in the description down below, or in the card on the corner of the screen. But they did announce that they will be making figures based off of Godzilla vs. Kong and well, here we are now. We finally have figures for Godzilla and Kong, and I'm really liking the way these figures look. They look so good. But let's talk about Kong first, because he's the one that I like the least out of the two. Now, for Kong, he does look good, and this will be the second King Kong we ever gotten for the SH Monsters line, which is awesome, because the only one we had was based off the 2005 film King Kong, and that figure goes for a lot of money now. Like, I've seen it go for $500. I've seen it go for a lot, and now we're getting a brand new Kong, since at the time that's the, that was the only King Kong figure we got from SH Monster. So now, since we have this one, the price might go down? I'm not sure about that. Uh, so don't take my word for it. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just assuming here. I'm speculating. <laughs> Uh, but this figure looks great in action poses. This is my biggest problem, is that the neutral pose just doesn't look that great to me and particularly to neutral face I don't know what it is it's just off to me the neutral face his uh, yelling face though does look good but his neutral face just to me looks a bit off and the figure in general like just in a neutral pose just looks off which is interesting because I've never seen an SH Monsters figure where their neutral pose looks bad because usually with SH Monsters figures any angle you take is good and they look good on all angles but just in this neutral pose just to me looks a bit off but that doesn't say that the figure's bad and if you see action poses like action pose i have on screen right now just looks great i love this action pose of him with the battle act and him jumping it just looks so good and it's just really cool and imagine having that on your shelf with any type of 2019 godzilla figure that would look so awesome but like i said the only problem i really have of it is the neutral stance it just looks a bit off to me for accessories i'm just assuming here they didn't really announce the accessories they're coming with but looking at the pictures we are getting a neutral face obviously and a open mouth screaming face as well uh, we are getting fists, we're getting a grabby hand, and we're getting an open hand. And also we got the knuckles. Apes do it where they go on their knuckles and walk around because this figure can go on all four. If I do get this figure, I'm not going to display it like that. But you can display them like that. And so he has that accessories as well. I'm not sure if it comes with a stand or not. Since they are showing photos of him jumping, he might possibly come with a stand, which would be great. Especially for a figure like this where in the film you see Kong jumping from mountains to mountains. And even in the trailer, you can see him jumping on top of buildings and going in with the axe hitting Godzilla in the head just if it came if it came with a stand that would be great but I don't think it will uh, one of the biggest accessories that come with this figure is the battle axe now this is the third figure we have seen with the battle axe and we actually have seen this axe in the trailer we're not quite sure the origin of it but I'm assuming and many others are assuming that it was created by Kong's ancestors because we can see him in the hollow earth I'm assuming it's the hollow earth doesn't really look like Skull Island since there is some upside down mountain so I'm assuming it's the hollow earth but he does find the axe there and Kong's ancestors made it to fight Godzilla, which would make the most sense because these two species have been at war for a long, long time. So it would make sense for him to make a weapon that can kill Godzilla. And it's using Godzilla's dorsal fin or plate, however you want to call it. And the detail on that just looks so good. And the axe just looks great as well. Uh, it's definitely the best looking axe we have seen from the film the best the best action figure that ha that has the axe the playmates ones look all right there's some good detail but it doesn't look as good as this i think the only problem i really have is that there's no red detail because you can see in the trailer that there is some red detail on the axe and 
is just a fantastic looking figure. I think this will be considered to be one of the best, if not the best, King Kong figure we have ever gotten, period. And we have a lot of good Kong figures on the market. We have the NECA Kong, which looks great. Uh, the only problem I really have with it is that it doesn't come with a neutral face. I don't have it. I'm, I just have seen pictures of it. And it doesn't have a neutral face, which is my problem. It also doesn't scale properly with my Godzilla figures, so. And also we had the Mezco Kong, which looks great, but I've heard it doesn't have that great of articulation, which kind of sucks there, but it just looks great overall. And also the Playmates figure that we have, the one for Godzilla vs. Kong, also is great because it's the best cheap Kong figure you could buy on the market. It looks so good, the articulation's great, and it's, it's just, I just really like the figure. And yeah, I really like this figure. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it or not, though. Oh, I'm, I have to decide that. It looks great, though. Uh, next up, we have Godzilla. And I love the way this figure looks. A lot of people are saying that it is just a repaint of the 2019 one, which I can see. It, it looks very similar to it. And they've re-released that same exact mold multiple times. And this figure just looks great overall, even if it's a repaint of the 2019 Godzilla, which from the way it's looking, it doesn't really look like it's a repaint, which is a great thing. Uh, but also, if it is a repaint, I'm fine with that because the 2019 figure, the original release of the 2019 figure, goes for so much. I really wanted to get it when it was cheaper, but now it goes for 120, 200, and it's just way too expensive for me to spend money on it. Now we're finally getting a re-release, I a possible re-release. I'm not sure if it is a possible release or not. I'm not quite sure about that, but it looks so good. And the paint detail, particularly with the dorsal fins or plates, however you want to call it, it looks so good. The paint detail looks so great. It looks just like the you see on the axe, and it just Oh, it looks so good. I'm, <laughs> I don't know why I'm freaking out over this. It just looks so good. I just really love the way that looks. And another thing I noticed that the inside of the mouth is blue. I'm not sure why they did that. It looks cool, but I'm not sure why they did it though. Like it, it's cool that they have this painted as if he's about to choose atomic breath, uh, but I don't get why they decided to paint the inside of the mouth using just blue paint it blue i don't get why they did that but it looks good overall for accessories i do know that it comes with different hands this the ones that you see in most of the photos is an alternative hand and it comes with that and i'm not sure what else it comes with it might come with an atomic breath piece i'm not sure about that it would be awesome if it came in the atomic breath piece since one of the big money shots of the film is godzilla shooting his atomic breath at kong and kong using the atomic breath to charge the battle axe so i really hope it comes with atomic breath because that would be such a cool piece and looking at the atomic breath part that came with the 2019 figure i think it also came with most of the other re-releases it looked so good and i just really hope they added it and i just it just looks so good and i'm not sure if this is going to be the best version of that particular godzilla figure it definitely looks good i really like the way it looks and i think it goes great with kong there's actually an image of the sh monster it's godzilla and the sh monster it's kong fighting and it just looks so good i just really like the way this looks and yeah that's basically it i don't know what else to say i just really like the way both kong and godzilla look particularly i like godzilla more and the best part is that these are going for 68 dollars or 67 dollars between that price point depending on where you go but it's really cheap considering that it's Godzilla vs kong and i was assuming a hundred dollars or higher but the fact that it's 67 or 68 depending on where you go is such a good deal so if you guys can i highly recommend you guys try to pre-order this i haven't tried to pre-order this yet yeah that's it for this video i've i got a whole bunch of videos coming this week and yeah that's basically it i will see you guys later bye